One of the most debilitating types of strokes is happening to younger people. Large vessel occlusion acute ischemic strokes were thought to affect mainly older adults, but research confirms younger people are not exempt. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandi, is here now. And Dr. Nandi, why are we seeing more of these strokes in younger adults? Yeah, big problem, Linda. So new findings in the Cleveland Clinic, right, may ex actually explain this now. A large vessel occlusion, acute ischemic stroke, it's a big word, also called, called big blockage strokes, happens when a blood clot or plaque buildup causes a major blockage in one of the main uh, arteries of the brain. Now, this stops blood flow and then that cuts off oxygen. These strokes are dangerous and need quick treatment to avoid brain damage or death. Now, so why are more younger folks right, having these strokes? Cleveland Clinic researchers said this, they looked at the records of 1,200 folks, 1,200 patients, 18 to 49. Here's what they found, that big blockage strokes occurred in about 20% of cases, very similar to the rate seen in older adults. This could be tied to an increase in stroke risk factors, and those are diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol amongst our younger population. But here's something else that's super interesting. Researchers noticed that younger adults in the Midwest, like us, can live differently than their East or West Coast peers. Their lifestyle is often more sedentary, and I mean, they sit around more, right, overall, and that could be a huge role in this. So how does treatment play a role, Doc? And of course, that raising awareness for young adults is important. So what symptoms should they watch for? It's super important. I want people to really look at this. Quick treatment and timing are absolute keys. Intravenous thrombolysis or breaking down the clots uses medications, right, that then dissolve these clots. And it can only be done within four and a half hours of the stroke starting. And thrombectomy is a procedure where doctors actually use this specially designed device to pull or suck the clot out to get the blood flow going, to restore the blood flow. This can only be done within 24 hours if there's still salvageable brain tissue. On the plus side, the study found that younger patients who arrived at the hospital quickly, so you gotta get there quick, had good outcomes. Unfortunately, about half did not get treatment and that in that group, a quarter arrived too late for acute care. So that's why it's so important to recognize the symptoms and not brush them off. So this is a mnemonic I want people to understand. The word fast can really help. F for facial drooping, A for arm weakness, S for slurred speech, T is for time to call 911. In addition, it's super important to see your doctor for regular screenings, but keep risk factors like diabetes, blood pressure, and cholesterol under control and stay active, please. You don't have to join a gym. Just walking, dancing, playing a sport can make a difference. And, and, and too many young folks, right, think a stroke cannot happen to them, that it's only for older folks. It's not true. And this mindset, in my opinion, really has to change quickly. When a younger person suffers, right, they become, became, become disabled or even die from a stroke, it doesn't just affect them. It affects their entire families. And, and what I want people to know also is that if you get there quicker, understand the symptoms, you can really make a difference and change the outcome of strokes. And then I think for us, it's a crisis when we see this. A stroke is like a brain attack, and we have to we have to treat it as such and not something that just, oh, well, I have a stroke and that's all. All hope is not lost, even when you get a stroke. All right, fast it is, Doc. Thank you.